everyone, Michael here and welcome back to Terraria. Last episode, we... Oh, last episode was just insane and... and yeah, <laughs> okay. So, main thing. Rod of Discord. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. So, I want to go over this item. Just a quick second, because I didn't in the last episode. It because I was so excited, I got it. The rod of Discord. Okay, so this seems like it's so OP. Um, teleport to teleport you to the position of the mouse. So basically, see, mouse is over here. Boop, teleport. But then you get the chaos state debuff, which if you use the rod of Discord, it will take life. So you have to. So you can't just like this because you see we're losing life so and this can kill you I want to go over the last episode because it was really really messy okay I wanted to do something I want to heal with the nurse not the enemy with the nurse. so we got I want to do gear recap godly took true Excalibur which is I tested it out in the footage I never showed, but look at this. This is disgusting. This is this is amazing. This is um this is reaches this reaches seven hundred DPS without any melee gear. I mean with the Avenger emblem. But we have everything with the Avenger emblem. And the projectile does a decent amount too. I mean for a projectile. Next is the golden shower. I put on two because now our nine is rod of discord, so I put in two. Next is the mega shark. Now we beat <laughs> Duke Fishon before Plantera. I know it's crazy. So we got the razor blade <laughs> typhoon here. Okay, next flamethrower. Next shadow flame bow. We fought the Goblin inv Invasion, I never showed that. Fatal Stormboy. Nimbus Rod. Rod of this group. Um, Pickaxe Axe. You can make Glorify with that. With that. This and that. <laughs> so, that's good. Optic Staff. So we have tons of minions. I want to fight Tontera as a summoner because this is actually the point where summoner is the weakest so I want more challenges like the fish on. So spider armor to accompany this. The sentry summoned. I know there's a queen stuff, the spider queen stuff, but I don't really need it. Um, frozen wings, obsidian shield, frozen turtle shell. Hello. Um, Frostback Boots, Shield of Cthulhu, Avenger Emblem, and I can swap these whenever I need to. Just, this is for damage overall, but then if uh, my life gets really low, health gets re really low, we should equip this. And this is just a general good damage reduction accessory, because we don't have the Worm Scarf. <laughs> okay, that was the recap, so next last episode... Sorry, last episode, <laughs> um, we fought all the mechanical bosses. So, pickaxe axe, and I actually use all the weapons you can get from them. So, all the things you can get from how do I show you? It's all in hard mode. If you go over to look here, I am your father. Oh, what was that torch? Okay. So, if you just show us what we can make. Um, so I used Hallowed Armor for Duke Fishram. Okay, so we have... Oh, Light Disc is something I didn't make. It's fine. So, um, Optic Staff. Uh, Excalibur makes a true Excalibur. Pickaxe Axe. And... Oh, and then the Flamethrower and Mega Shark are from Mega Shark is from Souls of Might from the Destroyer. 
and flamethrower is from Souls of Fright, from Skeleton Prime. Now then, today will be all about the jungle. Okay, so we're going to explore the jungle and get some chlorophyte. Um, yeah, for the gear I will use for Plantera, I'm going to make an arena too for this episode for Plantera. And obviously make a build because it's been so long since I have built in this world. And practicing building, I'm actually getting quite good at building stuff in Terraria. Um, I really enjoy it too. So, um, I think main weapons will be Mega Shark, Golden Shower, Flamethrower, and Shadow Flame Bow. Oh, we can use the Rod of Discord, right? Oh, and we have the Duke Fisherman, man, which is pink. Everything is pink. Okay. So, we can just do this. Oh, water. Need water for Duke Fish Farm. Look at the speed. Oh, and we should... Ow, yeah, I remember. I wanted to use... Oh, no, the jungle is getting corrupted. This is bad. Look at this, we barely have any jungle left, it's just this. Well, it's big, but yeah, Crimson is slowly seeping in the jungle. So what I wanted to do was, oh my god, look at this craziness. That's weird, old generation. Um, okay, I'll take the recalls. So, um, I want to use only this for Plantera. I can still use part of Discord, that, so that's all, all fine. But I really wanted to use that. Um, this mount, because I never use this mount from Plantera, obviously. You you won't think you would de defeat Duke Fishhorn before. Oh, look at this. This is a really good detail. Um, world generation. There are roots um, in this giant mahogany tree, which is amazing. Thank you, minions, for doing everything. Now, let's buff. Oh, look at this, everything's so nice. So, mining, spelunker, and night owl. And you'll see the screen ore with a really cool texture. That is chlorophyte. That is the next gear of stuff, I guess. Okay, um, I, I guess now all we need to do is to mine every single piece of it. Because it's... You basically need, need chlorophyte to make everything Primo Lord. And a good, a good trick if you're... If you're just one class or don't really want to try to get every single item in the game, I, I wouldn't recommend this because you can just get every single ore quickly. But if you're, if it's like this and it's a giant ore and the life root, I forgot to those. So life roots are, they start spawning after your first mechanical boss have been defeated and they increase your maximum life by five. So let's share this and boom. For 05 health, your maximum in Terraria overall is 500 without buffs. So, as I was saying, the chlorophyte trick is chlorophyte grows, um, spreads to mud blocks. And so, if this is, if you're playing the world like this, where you're trying to get all the stuff and try different classes, you should definitely leave one single chlorophyte is enough, and then it will start spreading slowly. So you can just come back later and get a bunch more chlorophyte. You just left. So here I won't really bother filling it up. And I'm filling it up so it's best faster because there's a giant mahogany tree in the way. So I'm just going to let it spread the other way. Yeah, okay, that's all I, I want to say. I think the Plantera Arena is going to be here. It's a giant space. You need a lot of space for Plantera Arena. Oh, what's this? A queen bee biome? Okay, okay. Okay, we need to be careful though. Because we don't want... Um, we don't want to awaken queen bee by accident. Okay, let's just clear all these little bees. Let's clear all these little bees. Oh! Well, I guess we're finding queen bee. Okay, that was on purpose. But... I bet Queen Bee will drop a bee gun because she's a troll. And I hate the boss because she didn't drop it 
a bee gun when we fought her the first a hundred times. This game hates me. And you know what? I just... I didn't zoom in. I'm sorry for that. I forgot to zoom in. So... <laughs> um... Right? This... Um, this is a bit... 120, I think. Okay. Yeah, this game hates me. Simply put, this game hates me. Okay. You know what? Just, okay. I Don't get angry. Why do you get angry at the game? Because it's such a troll. Anyway. Yeah, back to playing the game. Um, right, I got one life food and 213 chlorophyte, which is pretty much nothing. I mean, each one is six. Each bar is six. I don't know why. And I will definitely make the blacksmith build, blacksmith build now, because it's way long overdue. And I still haven't continued the dynasty build. Everything will come in the time. Okay. So you've got a pickaxe, which is the same as a pickaxe axe. I, I, don't, I don't know why would you want to make one, but okay. It feels the same. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Okay, let's see. What do we have for an axe? Well, the pickaxe axe. 90% one range, 80%. I think we can have a better hammer um okay what is this i never made this so i'll try all the things i never i never did actually okay this this okay there is not enough for the third one but i'll try these two things because i never i i don't think i ever made them in the history of me playing the game I don't want to mix up things. Oh, interesting. This is interesting. It's not out of swing. Um, interesting. It, it does a lot of damage. It's just slow. I mean average. But yeah. What is this? Okay. This isn't bad. I mean, I think it shoots through walls. Oh, that's pretty handy actually. I think I'll use this one. We can replace the Daily Storm Bow for now. And we, are, we aren't really using it. For now, because we're just in the underground jungle. So, mm, look at all these souls of flight. I am going to sell a bunch of them. This is the 500th batter I got. I, I don't want to look in the chest. Okay, that's fine. That's even more souls of flight more gel yeah look at the uh, there's a random chair here okay i mean let's get rid of this get rid of these two chests as well just like on camera inventory chest organizing because uh, i think you you need some chill gameplay for now ah okay oh my god not how much are these stones worth? They worth nothing. How much is one worth? Two silver? Well, I guess it makes sense because if one was, for example, ten silver, it would be too insane. And two... Yeah, it, it would be too... You know, too easy to get money that way, just by standing still. Random, oh, we need a random two chest, huh? 
Oh my god. No? Okay. Weapons do. Arr. Okay. Nice chest name. Oh, yeah, we fought the pirates twice. Nothing special, though, I think. I think. No, nothing special. I want to check out if anything can combine. Arm bracing, blindfold, I know can't combine. Okay, this can't. So, um, I think we we're missing one or two pieces for this. Okay. Then we're missing two pieces? Or is armor polish already done? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out this. So, thank you. Okay, crafting. What does this make? The bees are... Well, we're just about to head off to the jungle. This makes armor bracing. We can sell this thing. So, we have this. So if we get the visa, we have one, two, three, four, and five in a chest. I think we're close. I don't know. I think we're close to the angst stuff. Get all this. Oh yeah, and I got a pit pocket mirror. I, I think I covered this already. Just in case I didn't. It's a cool Medusa drop that prevents you from getting hurt by Medusa. Medusa. I think we can get rid of weapons too because we have enough weapons. Um, yeah, we'll get rid of it now. For now, we have one chest is enough for pre hardened weapons. Random two. Okay, random is like banners and and other random stuff, I guess. Like crafting stations, banners, chests, ropes. This. This would be in building, building two. Then it's fine. I, I think some chill gameplay is better for now. Okay. Um, day bloom seeds. We can just quick stack somewhere. No. Okay. Oh, seeds is there. Seeds. Or and the party greenhouse. You saw nothing. Okay. Um. Or they're not. Okay, that's weird. Oh my god. Seeds. Apparently we don't have any table seeds, which is weird. Okay. Now then. Let's go. Actually, no. No what? Uh what's the quest? Just curious. Bumblebee tuna. Man. Okay, where are you, party girl? Party girl. Star. Hello, Star. Oh. Okay. Bubble blocks. I think that would be enough. Don't you think so? Okay, that was way too much. But I've got 37 platinum from all the th farming and selling all the extra stuff. Okay. Now, this is what I always do in my world. I, I n at least on my expert one, which is oh, almost every single one. Oh, I should have this on. That's better. Okay. Only this is enough. I'm going to show you this trick. This is a su this is such a useful trick. Um, for anyone trying to use the the fish run mount. So, what you do is you place like this. I'm just trying to be three, four, one, two, three, four, five. I just I just want to be equal. Okay. So, um, you need a water bucket, one single water bucket, and um, bubble blocks with a space, and it's blocked off from all the sides. Bubble block is a very special, is a is very special block because it contains liquids. It can contain liquids, but not. Um, it's basically you can move through it, and it just like walls but it contains liquid inside it's very useful if you're using um, for example the, the fish mount or just you want to have honey easily access to honey easy access to honey um, so what you do is you do this this is the water duplication cringe cringe what glitch <laughs> and you'll see a lot of guides for it online I'll just go over it briefly. 
I used it already on the farm, on the fishing hole, not the farm. And I'm just saving up these. So, what you do is you place a U shape, hammer one block down, and then hold out. Oh my god, I'm stupid. Uh, Oh my god. That was stupid. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, moving on. <laughs> Epic fail. Okay, so it does need to be like that. I think. Yes. Like that. Hammer this down. Now let's open this. <laughs> okay. Now. You do this. And this duplicates the water. Um, I think I know briefly how it works. So just do this. And you can see. And you can just move through it while you're fighting enemies. You will gain the Duke Fish from buff and you will go super fast all the time. This is a very useful um, trick to use whenever you use the fish mount in your arena but if you're using the ufo mount which you get from the martian invasion you shouldn't use this even for honey because the ufo disappears after attaching liquids so you shouldn't use um this one using ufo mainly this is done Boop. and now every time pass do this i gain a buff and if you have so many of them in your arena just get you can always have this active and this is lightning bug why not i mean it's, it's good for bait now i will do the same thing on the other side but then with honey four five boop um yeah i'll just do it on camera i'll edit well i'll edit but yeah honey is slower the duplication which for honey is slower, but it's it's honey, so it's g it gives you life regen. When you pass through it, you, you gain both the buff and the life regen, which is amazing. So just grab your honey, and th the trick is different because honey moves slower, and this is the same trick used for lava. What you do is you, again, just any block. You do it like this. You make like an opposite L or or if you so it needs to be three blocks or if you do it on the outside it's an L. But basically you do this shape and you can make it one or but just in case. And like that. I'll get rid of the minions because you can so you can clearly see better. What you do is I'll just put in here. You do this, you place wait for it to reach and then you hold it down to reach about um about this point about this half here i'll show it again just after everything drains and this looks like it's full but but it slowly it just stacks at the bottom and as you can see it's barely reached anything yeah it, it that was only two blocks it's very slow but it's effective Okay, and now we just spam this until, well, until it's full.
perfect now that is how you do this and look at this you can get honey pass through water and water is is better it just makes it quicker to build but honey is effective I, I like to have a mix so it doesn't take too much time but then again you don't have to have honey all the time to gain honey all the time you can just fly around do whatever you do do whatever you do of course there are going to be even more of these um bubble things here and here and everywhere basically just so you ha always have this but it's 30 seconds so you can just fly around do things if you need to and then and then you need to refresh just refresh it here now then i guess let's go back to to mining chlorpite this was just a cool trick i want to show it's very useful if you're using the kit fish mount just don't make it crawl it's because it's so slow and cute it crawls it has a crawl animation okay <laughs> yeah moving on let's go back to chlorophyte digging doesn't sound exciting i know Also, I might add 67 miles per hour. That is insane. Okay. Let's go on to find liquid and... This is actually really good for traveling around the world too. If y your world is like full of lakes and stuff, you can just take a dip and just move super fast. And then refresh move super fast again. Overall, this is my favorite mount. It's just the most useful one, in my opinion. Good for building because it floats and moves slowly. Good for battling because it's fast with the bubble block. And even if you're you're not using the bubble block thing and you just reach half HP, still a very good overall mount. Huh? There's a chest in the water we never found. It was right there. We just needed a spelunker person to find it. Wow, Terina was chopped by a, up by a bee. A bee! And I know why. Well, one of the reasons, anyway. First of all... Boop. Second of all, bush. And I want this on, because in the jungle it's kinda cruel. I'll zoom in it just a bit. But actually, no, I want to zoom out all the way so I can see more cloth, right? You know, Terraria is so interesting that if you zoom in for like 10 minutes and then you zoom back out, everything so seems so big. Is that just me? I don't know. It just feels that way. Oh my god. Oh, I forgot the rod of Discord. I always forget I have the rod of Discord. I never get it. I actually never got it in regular terraria before never tried to get it actually i think i'll go this way now hello Titan flower oh there's a moth that's nice um five seconds later yeah <laughs> so there's a moth a, rare, a pretty rare um enemy in the jungle that can drop material for moth wings and these are pretty cool i think they're not really that great um, but they're cool, I mean, there are so many wings, obviously not all of them have to be good, like OP. Because there are different tiers of wings, even the same, like, at the start of farm we have so many choices of wings. Some of them are good, some of them are bad, it's just, yeah, just like this. Um, anyway, so, inventory management is a thing. I need to be aware of. S um, yeah, so a moth, let me try and kill, doesn't have a, doesn't always drop the thing, 
the what I said it drops, the butterfly dust. Like here, it didn't drop, but it's fine. Uh, oh, there's an amethyst hiding in there. Like we need more. And a life root, nice. Oh, snap. So, there is a Plantera Bob here. And I will not make my arena here because I will need to do so much work just cleaning out the area, stop its crawler. Miss Crawler is kind of. Miss. <laughs> Miss Crawler is kind of. quirky. I don't know. So, yeah, this. You break this and it spawns Plantera, if you didn't know. And that's basically, I mean, <laughs> that's all I can say about Plantera. Well, you'll wait and see how the boss is like. Another life group, we're up to three. Which is good. Overall, we need, I think, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six. wait, just add 100. You need 100 life, each one gives 50, yeah, you need 20. 5, each one gives 5, not 50. So, you need 20 overall. We already got one, so we need 19. Oh, another life root. And I forgot to summon my minions. And I died. Great. I guess giant tortoises do not like eyes. Hey, you learn something new every day. Ooh, tether bee wings. Not bad. These make, well, bee wings. Okay, come on. That's just, that's just insane. We gotta yell it. One of the weird best yo-yos, I guess. These actually are kind of rare, but I get them all the time, which is weird. I'm not sure exactly what their drop chance is, but from any any enemies in the jungle, any enemies in the jungle can drop them. And it's a pretty cool yo-yo, actually. Um, it's a good one if you're playing um, all yo-yos. It's, it's the best one against Pantera. And oh! Got, oh, got a, quite, quite a bunch more chlorophyte. Never noticed. Got seven life root. Not bad. Let me just get out this. Um, okay, let's see what we can make. We can make arrows too, but they're not really good. Icor or holy arrows are better. Let's see, we have the armor, which we won't make. We'll make the armor because Chlorophyte makes other armors for all the classes. Well, for most of the classes, Summoner. They don't make for Summoner. But let's st check this out. That is Auto Swing. And does that go to box? It does. Well, I guess we found a replacement. Quick replacement for the Chlorophyte Partisan. I think I said it right first time. That's actually impressive. Now, chlorophyte bars, we'll check with the guide if we have anything before Plantera we can make. So, you can make the venom stuff. Ooh, we should make that. That is, I think, a good magic weapon. Um, we got a ven poison staff. Nice. So, this is a poison staff. Pretty slow poisons enemy. But then, I mean, why not? So, now we can make the Venom Staff. It's it's faster and it's stronger. Um, yeah, that's basically it for this. I would like to use it as my main magic weapon. Nimble, keen, oh my God. masterful, nah, mm, I mean, masterful is cool. It's it's cool. It's it's a mixture of cool and good. Um, what do we want to replace? I think. Well, I guess we can replace the shadow flame bow. You're nice, but I think you can be replaced now. Close six. You can get out of here and hard mode. Yeah, I wanted to show this. Now we we have even more weapons. Look at this. Oh, this looks nice. This actually really looks nice. Noise. 
Okay, back to the jungle we go to make our plantar arena. Okay, so instead of ha um, doing it in there, because this is too big of a space, I would like to, oh my god, I would like a bit of challenge as well. And a beezer couldn't be more perfect. This, this space is just enough for what I want to do. Dynamite. Boop. One dynamite is enough. Oh, that's a mimic. I want to check out what this mimic has to offer. A dual hook. Well, you don't need it. You already have a better hook. But I will gladly take free money. <gasps> Sharpening station. Yes, that's the final station. We can just take buffs and Mm, without potions like the crystal ball and the bewitching table did you see that dynamite though if not let me throw some more <laughs> quickest way of making tinter arenas by far pro skills pro skills I assure you I am a pro at this game Okay, Ankh shield. We need heart accessories. We need this, we need a plan. Big advantage, arm bracing, blindfold. That is one, two. One, two, three, four, five. No. What? Wait a second. Um, guide, help me out here. I feel like I'm missing something. These are oh no, sorry. This. One, two, three, four, five. Oh okay, wait, one, two. One, two, three, four, five. Oh phew. Okay. So now then. What do you need? The plan? The plan? The countercurse mantra? The blindfold? Oh they'll do this. Um the arm bracing bezor and the disadvantage make the medicated bandage, so medicated bandage, blindfold, and obsidian shield. You need to make the Ankh charm, grants immunity to all these debuffs. You can pause the video if you want to read what they do. Ankh charm. And now, together, you have the Ankh shield. Equipable for defense, grants immunity to knockback and fireblocks. Grants immunity to most debuffs. Boop. That is one step closer to having the perfect accessory loadout. Warding. Boop. That is 8 defense, immunity to knockback fire blocks, and most debuffs. And this looks even more awesome. Because of the symbol, you can see the symbol is really visible. And it's cool. So, I will wait for night time because I want to build right at the end of this video. Off camera, I will continue this Plantera Arena, polish it up, everything for next episode where we fight Plantera. Now, let's wait for night time, I guess. And I should bring my heart statue and timer from the Duke Fisher Arena. Meanwhile, which is idea just to pass time part of discord I can use it actually oh here's a really good trick I figure out well while playing modded but still because they never got the rod of discord anyway you can use the rod of discord when you have it if you have the rod of discord you can use it to ha to get below half health and then Duke Fishman will be even better be okay now I'm doing the fi I'm making the final preparation for what I'm about to do, and I forgot to do the simplest things. Okay, I have the mechanical skull, and now you know what I do because he said I have the mechanical skull. I need um each one each ten yes. That will be not material is third by six of these. I need six of it souls, so six souls slide and then soul slide. I have so much. So much. Three. And then that's enough for making this 
two other summoners, I want to attempt the Mechanical Mayhem. This is an achievement, I already got it before, but I want to do it again. Because it's a very fun one to do. At least to try. It's fighting all the th all three mechanical bosses at once. So I'm making my final preparations. I want... Where's my ammo? Here's my ammo. Do I have Jester's arrows? I don't want Icor. I want Crystal Bullets, I think. It's going to be good again against them. Um, we I need to speed up what I'm doing right now to be way faster cause okay I'll just grab whatever I can grab crystal shards pixie dust unicorn horns quickly 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 um holy arrows holy arrows 800 that is enough I need to buy bullets um hello musket balls there you go we don't have time, we don't have time. Oh no. Um, crystal bullets. Um, there you go. That is enough. I'm just going to put stuff away. Ah, okay, come on, come on. Okay. Let's go. Um, let's get all four buffs. I'm preparing buffs. Let's turn on this. Oh no! Heart reach potions? No. Um, um, okay, that is no, come on. Herm Piranha, that is good too. Pink Titan Fish, there's no buffs, you can go away. Two bottles, oh my god. We are not doing this right. Oh my god. Rage. Heart, no sticky bomb, whatever. Hardridge, trust the sticky bomb. Got all the minions out. Buff. Let's go. There you go. That was a waste. Okay. There you go. Oh my god, the lag. I think I'm kind of lagging here. Okay, rip. NPCs did the stories and NPC killer. Okay, I'll use this. Oh my god, so many things. Here we go. Oh no, I'm dead. That's that's a dead run of this. The destroyer hit me in the head. With the head. Not in the head. Hello destroyer. Yeah, you're here too. Oh my god, no no no, this is crazy. Okay, it's fine. Full health. Full health. I think we need the Avenger emblem here. Let's go. Oh, the story stopped killing my NPCs. Oh my god. Oh, mix. The story is almost dead. Oh my god, no! Oh, thank you, Rod of Discord, you saved me. Okay, back on track. Come on, destroyer, die already. Let's go. Sorry, is dead. Give me the hearts. Give me all the hearts. Okay, nice. Okay. Uh, okay. Ah, <sighs> now it's way more chill. Destroy our way. Okay, I think we'll leave the skeleton prime for last because um, it is the hard, the hardest to oh my god to kill. It's the tankiest, and I think okay, time for match. I don't want to activate spasmatism a second form. I think it's like one more HP down, and then it will be it. I had to go silent there. Oh no, spasmatism. Come on. Come on. There you go, spasmatism. 
I think Sven is in second floor now. It, it is. It is. Oh my goodness. Uh, try to get this debuff. I think Venom works too. And no, no, wrong thing. Heal. Oh no. Come on. So close. So close. So close. Oh no, no, the fish on. Fish around. Why? Why did you have to do this? Okay. The twins have been defeated. Now it's only skeleton fine. And it's only a matter of time. I think we can defeat it. Skeleton fine. In the time. <laughs> So close. Uh, I need on fire. No, it doesn't work. Does phantom work? I mean, shouldn't. Yeah, shouldn't. Because it's literally a metal. I think this will do good damage too. And this. I think we want this thing. I think. I, uh, I think. I think. I think. I'm pretty sure. If we didn't get the Rod of Discord, there's no chance we could've won that. That was so hectic. Ah, <sighs> That's better. There you go. G. G. Ah. <sighs> that was easier than I thought. I mean, out of this, there was this spot, that there was the thing where I was stuck here, with um, the destroyer above my head, spasmatism right in front of me, red things are here, skilled from prime, I think that his arms were going to get me, and without the rod of discord to tell for me here, that would have been a dead fight. But, GG, I did not even reactivate my buffs. Well, I have buffs for next time. Now. Now, it's time for the f my favorite part. The best part. The bag opening. Treasure bag. Oh, my NPCs are dead. No, not all of them. Oh, the red hat. Poor thing. So, I have one, two, three, four. The ones that aren't in the diamond building died. Okay, let's go in. Three, two, one. Bam, bam, bam. Excuse me. That is what I'm talking about. 86 gold plus all the selling that I, I'll do. Hello. We can sell this. Sell this? No, not this actually. I don't want to sell this. So this and this and this. 88 gold minus the one I just wasted. That was silly. It's fine. Let's check what's the status. Oh no. 18% hallowed and 17 crimson. I mean, hallowed is good, but crimson is 70% of the world. So if you divide it by 5, almost a, a full fifth of the world will be crimson. That is bad. Now, time to con time to do the blacksmiths. Um, build, and I think it should be attached to this, to this, um, um, it should be here, attached to the chest room, so we can just quickly go over and take the chest, so, like, about here, and then there would be trapdoor opening. I, I did a similar build f to this before. And I'll try to make it work. Okay, time for a build.
Okay, thanks for watching another episode of Turbino Let's Play. We built this, and as you can see, the ladder, I know the platform's there. Couldn't bother because I already started, and then blah, blah, blah. I didn't have enough teleporters, and mm, you know. Just leave that. Have the heavy workbench, meat grinder, uh, adamante forge, mithril anvil, sawmill, and the blendomatic. In the blacksmith's room, friendly we made it, and now we can access all of our crafting station in one place. Well, most of them anyway. Um, we've prepared a planter arena, at least some of it, and we completed the mechanical mayhem. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next episode. Goodbye.